What's going on everyone? Behind me is my 2023 uh, Palisade and I'd like to share some information to hopefully give you guys some hope on installing a trailer harness on your Palisade or if you're waiting for maybe a factory harness. So when I was under here, I actually found something a little neat and I will show you guys real quick. Here is about the center of your car and here is the passenger side. I found this harness right here. It had this black cap on it. Good news, this looks like a factory harness for trailers. Hopefully they have a harness coming out and they're testing it, no more fires. So when I saw it, it was hooked up like that. That's what it looks like under your car. Uh, go ahead and get under there, see if you have it. So you may be asking, what year is this? When did I get this? Blah, blah, blah. It's a 2023 Palisade. It is now February and I bought the car in December, but there's still hope for you guys who bought them really early. So I said to myself, how are you guys gonna know if you have one so you guys don't have to crawl under your car? Uh, I went ahead and I thought, let's look at manufacturing date and see what the date is. Right here on your passenger door, you got this plate here and it should have, it has all your info on it. And right here, you can see October 2022. That is the manufacturing date. So with that being said, if your Palisade was made after October 2022, there's a strong possibility that you have that harness already installed. If it was uh, made previous, prior to that date, you might not have the harness, but you still could. So it is up to you guys to decide, do you wait for the harness or do you go ahead and make your own? I will be making a video after this on um, installing a four pin and a seven pin or four pole, seven pole connector for a trailer. Uh, my trailer has brakes, so I'm gonna have it all brakes, blinkers, reverse lights, uh, brake lights, everything. So, and even charging for the battery on the trailer. So if you wanna watch it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the whatever button that tells you, give you notifications, and wait for that video. But if you wanna be patient, just go to Hyundai and try and find out when they're gonna release that freaking harness. Because all it is gonna be is probably plug it in and mount it wherever you want to mount it, whatever you want to do with it. Very, very simple. I have some stuff I want to do in March and April, and I would like my trailer to operate as it is. It's brand new, basically, and I want it to operate all functions. Now, let's get to the ending of the video. For you guys who are wanting to wire in your own, here's some extra information. So I bought this pretty sweet Takansha module. It uses these little sensors that clip around your wire and you don't have to do any splicing and I didn't want to damage my harness. So that was my plan there. Uh, this will not work because this goes over the individual wire. It could work, but it would take a lot of work on my hand because these tail lights are one LED unit now. So I would have to turn the car on and cut one wire and see which light doesn't work. Blinker, brake lights, whatever, reverse lights. Then I'd have to splice that wire back, cut the next wire, find out which individual wire goes for what in order to wrap that around. And then I'd have to hope that these colors match up on the left side for the left blinkers. So I'm not gonna go with that one. I'll show you a picture of the one I'm gonna go with. This right here though, can be used. This is the ETBC7L. This is the seven way upgrade. You can find this on eTrailer.com. Basically this is your seven pin connector on your trucks. And the wiring is very simple. This plugs into your four pole, and then these three wires, uh, this is brake controller, yellow is reverse, and then that's power wire. And then this white one's obviously ground. So that makes it pretty simple to convert from four pin to seven pin with just three wires you gotta connect if you want a brake controller, if you don't want your brakes. So I need to get a brake controller as well. If you're trying to wire yourself, this is the kit I found useful. It just goes in line with your LED connector. Uh, this is the SKU number, and it's made by the same company. Hopefully this will work. I'll make a video in the next two weeks when it comes in the mail. Hope this video helps you from taking off stuff, getting under your car, and trying to figure out what's going on. I hope to help you guys keep you on the couch instead of in the garage on your back. So uh, leave a like for this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will keep working on this thing. I got some stuff I want to do to this Palisade if my wife lets me. It's, it's her car, so, you know, I got all my other projects going on. I appreciate you watching this. I hope to help you guys uh, try and keep this video short. It's probably already too long. 
As always, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye